For thousands of years, astronomers have been peering up at the sky to try and understand more about the universe around us. I've come to see the latest technology which is going to help scientists understand more about our own galaxy. This is Gaia, the most advanced space telescope ever built in Europe. The reason it's so special is that it's going to map our galaxy, the Milky Way, in 3D for the first time. The camera in this mobile phone is about 5 megapixels. And the pictures it takes are quite good. But imagine if you had a camera that could take pictures that were a billion pixels. That's exactly what this is going to be able to do. It's probably the biggest camera in the world. So while this is probably too big to put in your pocket, the European Space Agency have found the perfect place for it. They're going to send it almost a million miles away from Earth. And from there, it's going to take pictures of more than a billion stars in our galaxy. The black box that you can see on the back of the telescope is the radiator. And on the other side of that are 106 digital camera sensors. Those are going to allow Gaia to see far further than the human eye. It's going to be able to peer more than 150,000 light years into space. To give you some idea of just how powerful that is, if I was to take a single human hair and place it more than 430 miles away, Gaia would be able to see that in perfect clarity. There are two black panels at the top of this spacecraft, one that you can see on this side and one on the other. And behind these are the eyes that are going to allow Gaia to see in three dimensions. Now there's still one component that has yet to be fitted to this spacecraft. One of the last things to be attached before it's launched will be a 10 meter wide sun shield. This is part of a structure that will unfold from the spacecraft when it gets into position to protect it from the sun's rays that could interfere with the quality of the images produced. Scientists are hoping to get the first pictures back from this telescope sometime early next year. The amount of data it's going to produce during its five-year mission is enormous, probably around 1.5 million CDs worth. Let's just hope they remember to take the lens cap off. And if you want to see more videos like this from Tom, Nick and me, don't forget to subscribe to the Wyology channel. You'll get exclusive access to places just like this.